back to another episode of Chef Shark's Creative Kitchen. Today we're going to make some beef stew, but it's going to be a little different because the prices of meat is so high, you know, everything with COVID is through the roof. So we are making ground beef stew. So we're going to use ground beef of about three pounds in place of the cubed beef because I went to look for the cubed beef and I found a pack and it was like, I think a pound for like $12. So we're not doing that. No, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the easy, simple, and affordable way. So let's get into it. All right, so first we're going to start with our vegetables. So I have some red skin potatoes. I have some celery hearts. We have some carrots here. And then I have some thyme and some onions. So we're going to get started we're chopping up all of our vegetables. That's going to be our first thing to get our mise en place together. So that means everything in its place. So especially when you're doing a big stew, you want to get everything in its place. So that way you can go boom from each step to each step to each step without having to pause, run over here, run over there. Sometimes I still do it. I'm guilty of being unprepared, but I'm going to show you guys how you're supposed to do it so that you can cook in a flash. So if you take 10 or so minutes to prep all of your ingredients, your cook time will be cut in half. All right, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start out with my celery and then I have a stack of like these paper bowls just so I can put all of my stuff in and then I'll Of that bag so a pound and a half of red skin potatoes and because we are using ground beef instead of beef cubes we're gonna cut the potatoes up a little bit smaller just to kind of match the size so that way when you're biting into everything you're kind of getting like a little bit of everything on your spoon so not gonna be too technical about it but I'm cutting them down a little bit further than I would if it was the big beef. If it was the big beef, I would just cut it into fours like so, but I'm cutting it down even a little bit more than that. So we have a half a pound of carrots here. And we are gonna go ahead and slice these up. Move these little babies right over here. And we're gonna do just like this. So we got an onion here and we're going to go ahead and get our onion cut up, cut all up. We don't need to do nothing all fancy with the onion. This one's kind of flat too, so I'm not even going to go ahead and do that whole little fancy thing. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half and we're going to peel, peel, get rid of all these little skins. You do not want these in your food. You'd be feeling like you're eating paper or something crazy like that. Don't nobody want that. <laughs> so always make sure your cutting board is clean. And then we're going to cut this way. Right down. And like I said, we're going to keep these uniform as well. Hearty vegetables. And then we're going to go this way. And garlic. Hey, right, so we're not even going to worry about mints in this. We are just going to slice it. these beautiful thyme sprigs you always want to pull backwards to get the sprigs off so we're going to take the sprigs of thyme and we're going to just pull backwards clean it all up and at the top do the same thing get those little pieces off and we're going to do let's say four sprigs of thyme same thing pull it right back get the thyme off and then we are going to go ahead and just So here's all our mise en place ready to go in the recipe. Make it super easy and fun for cooking. So we are moving on to the next part of our recipe. And we are going to add our ground beef to our pan. You see I'm using my little tabletop skillet here. I love using this thing. It means I don't have to mess up a bunch of dishes or anything. So I have my ground beef already portioned out in bags. Because we brought 
like I said, about three or four pounds of it. And last night we did burgers. That's another thing you have to remember. I was able to take $10 worth of ground beef and do more than one meal with it. Had I brought the cubes, it would have been one and done because the package was about this big with um, the steak cubes in it. And it just was not enough. So we are going to go ahead and let this brown. When I was in culinary school, we made this dish. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was with ground beef. And our culinary instructor, I remember he kept saying, it has to get really brown, it has to get really brown. And, he, and I'm thinking, okay, when ground beef is brown, it's like that regular brown, it's done, it's cooked. And he's like, no, keep browning it, keep browning it, keep browning it. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna go ahead and get our ground beef going. We're just going to go ahead and let this cook. I put a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and we are not going to strain the oil off. Why, you might ask? Because we are going to use that oil for our roux. Like I told y'all before, a roux is equal parts flour, equal parts fat, so you can use any kind of fat. So we are going to use the ground beef fat. And then I have one teaspoon of black pepper to that and two teaspoons of salt. And we're just going to go ahead and let it do what it do. Get it all cooked up really nice. And then we are going to add two tablespoons of parsley, our onion, garlic, and thyme. And then to that, I'm going to go ahead and add in the celery. And we're going to let that go ahead and get all nice and tender and cook up with the ground beef and let the flat the flavor start to develop all up in this thing. I'm telling y'all, this is going this is so delicious. We already ate it, so we are right now. So I'm gonna add one teaspoon of the garlic bouillon. Oh, two teaspoons of the garlic bouillon and two teaspoons of the vegetable bouillon. And we'll go ahead and add that in there and mix it up. So right now we're just building up all our flavors and everything. And then I added one fourth a cup of flour. And you're gonna mix it up really good because you want your roux to be well incorporated. You don't want any cups of flour. So go ahead and get the mix and mix and mix in. All right, and don't stop until you don't see no more flour and then we're going to add three tablespoons of tomato paste i chose organic you don't have to you can get the little can if you want to that's fine too mix that up get that incorporated really well now we're going to add our liquids we're going to add three cups of water and two cups of half and half and basically this is it guys after this we're just going to let it simmer for 20 25 minutes after we add in our other vegetables to get nice and tender. So once we toss in our carrots and our potatoes, that's it, we're just letting it simmer. And then we're gonna correct our seasoning. So if we wanna add a little bit more of something, if you want a little more herbs or spices or salt or anything, um, at the end is the time to go ahead and just add those additional flavors in because like I told y'all before, we can build on them flavors, baby, but we cannot take them back once we add too much. So if you go heavy on the pepper, like that one video I saw, that's it. You can't take that back. So just go ahead and, you know, adjust it at the end like a professional. I'm trying to get y'all up to chef level. So adjust it at the end. So this is it. We just let it simmer 20, 25 minutes, medium heat. And then we gotta get to cleaning because my brain starts getting cluttered just like the kitchen does and then weird things start happening. So I had to get cleaning and I was dancing and shaking my booty and stuff and cleaning up the kitchen and getting it all nice and wiping up spray down. Oh my God, I felt so amazing after doing this. So here it is. This is basically the finished product and we are getting ready to put this thing in a bowl with some biscuits. Cause did I tell y'all I made some fluffy biscuits? Look at them biscuits. Woo baby. Your mama, your grandmama, sorry, Popeyes, whoever else, sorry, baby, I did these biscuits, so I'm just about to hit them with the butter, and I'm telling you, when you, oh, look at it, when that brush goes across with the butter, I'm sorry, guys, ain't, ain't no recipe for this, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go find your own, but here we go, look at that, look at that, here it is, it's coming around, mm, look at that. Top of a little sprigs of thyme on top. Make it look all professional and nice, y'all. And that is it. Enjoy. So y'all already know what to do. Go like, share, follow, do all of that stuff for your girl so I can keep growing my account.